Welcome back to my workshop. Now you're obviously here because you want to know if you can cut reflective vinyl on a diode laser, like this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is quickly talk you through why I want to and how I do it. Right, so let me explain why I want to cut it with my diode laser. Now normally with vinyl, you would use um, something like a, a cry cut or a cricket, however they say it, which is basically a drag knife, okay? So there's no light involved, there's no burning, it's just the blade. Now obviously the one we've got is a very small one, uh, which is a Crycut Joy, I think it is. Uh, now this is obviously limited on the width and the length that you can cut. Now what I need to do is do something quite large. Uh, let me show you what I've got to do. Don't ask. Okay, so what I've got to do is make a welcome sign for a wedding. Okay, so when the guests come into the wedding, there's a big sign that says welcome. Uh, now this is going to be in a big picture frame. Uh, it's probably twice the width of this. Okay. Okay, so it's twice the size of this. Uh, and I just want the words welcome. And then some other words down here. Okay. But obviously this is too big. So, can I cut it on my diode laser? But first, let me show you the material I want to use and the potential problems I might come up against. Okay, so as you can see, this is the stuff we're going to use. Okay, it's extremely reflective. Look at that. So obviously if you're going to use a diode laser, there's a potential of it reflecting everywhere and doing some damage. Now this is from this company, okay, which is Liar Vinyl. Let's have a look. Liar Vinyl. Uh, and this is obviously used normally for these uh, vinyl cutting machines. Okay. Uh, but we bought this in a big sheet. And as you see, it's very reflective. Uh, but it's also got a protective film over the top, which we also need to remove. Right, so let's do a quick design and then get a piece of this in the laser and try and cut it. So what I'm going to use is Lightburn software. Okay, uh, I've got a session of it open here. And here's my little design. I've cheated because I've done it um, earlier on just so we could show you what's going on. Uh, this is just my little design. I want to make this out of uh, gold sticky stuff. Okay, we just got a square with the triangle in the middle, which makes the uh, YouTube play button. And then I've got Frank's little workshop here. Okay, now I've selected all of this because I want to burn it all in one go. Okay, I've assigned a color, which is the blue. Now over here on the right hand control panel, we've got cuts and layers. Uh, and all I've got to do is set the speed and the power. I'm going to set the power to 15, which I know cuts through this quite well, and the speed to 300 millimeters per minute. Okay, so this is my basic settings. Uh, I use this button here to frame it to make sure that I can fit it all on the uh, vinyl. And then this button to start. Right. That's enough of the design. Right, so I've roughly cut the uh, material, the vinyl to the size I want. Now, as you can see, it has a tendency to want to roll up, okay? But if you look carefully, it's actually got a protective film on the front, okay? Now, obviously, once you remove that, it becomes a little bit less curly. And also, if you try and cut it with that film still on it, it can melt the film into the vinyl, which makes peeling it off a little bit impossible. Okay, so basically you have to remove that outer cover and that allows it to sit a little bit flatter. Okay, we'll tape this down anyway. So now it's flat, the film is off. Let's put it in the laser. And a little bit of tape on there just to hold it in place. 
Now I'm just going to use this normal decorator's blue tape because it's sticky enough and it won't destroy the vinyl. Okay, just one piece at the front and one piece at the back for now. Try and keep it as flat as possible. Okay, then frame it again to make sure you're going to get it all on. Right, looks good to me. Uh, looks like I'm going to get it all on there on that one piece. Uh, now, let's quickly focus the laser. Right, so before we start cutting, obviously we have to focus the laser. Now this is the Sculptfun S9, uh, and to focus that you get one of these little focus beams, focus blocks, focus thingy-me-bobs. Okay, and that just sits underneath the back. Lift up your laser. Focus it with that. and then remove it. Now be very careful because this is very shiny uh, and probably prone to scratching. Right, so all ready to go, materials in place, laser is focused, our design is ready to go. Most important thing we've got to do is get some decent safety glasses. Right, so if you don't watch anything else about this video, this is probably the most important part. Now you're using a laser, which is obviously a light. The light will burn. If you look at the light, it will damage your eyes. So you need a decent set of safety glasses. Now I'm using these ones, which are actually from Xtool. Uh, they're extremely funky, okay? Uh, but these are the right glasses for this uh, wavelength of laser okay if you've got a laser you've probably already got a pair of these make sure you wear them because the light reflects everywhere okay i'll show you that when it's actually burning uh, but i think we're pretty much ready to go right since i'm cutting i will use my air assist okay this is my air assist which uh, i did a video on a little while ago uh, this will help to clear away a bit of the debris when it's cutting. Okay, so air assist on, and then basically push the go button. But it may not look like there's much light being reflected everywhere, even though this is very reflective. Uh, you can't really see much in the way of light coming off this. If I turn the lights off, you may be able to see how much is coming off. Okay, if you look at the uh, background there, all of that light there, yeah, you can't see that with the lights on, but that is actually all around the room and it could damage your eyes. So make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Okay, I know you're not stupid, you would anyway, but look, this is very bright. Right, let's let that carry on cutting. Right, so this is now finished cutting. Uh, hopefully it's cut enough all the way through. Uh, let's take the tape off and remove it from the laser. Okay, that looks like it's done something. Right, let's get it back on the bench. All right, as you can see, uh, this has got here Okay, some marks all over it. It becomes very, very prone to uh, getting marks on it. Right, what we've got to do now is remove all the bits we don't want. In this case, it's all the big bits. We want to keep the letters 
and we want to keep this outside here and take away the triangle in the middle. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do first is cut off any excess. Okay, then using a scalpel, you can use proper de-weeding tools. Now, when you're picking this off, it's called weeding. Okay, and all you do is you literally pick a bit that you want to take off. In this case, the corner. Separate it if you can. Okay, then gently peel it off and it should leave the letters behind. Okay, and if it doesn't, gently push them down. Right, I'm going to try to do this bit upside down for you. Uh, right, the next bit you need is some of this, which is transfer paper. Okay, it's like a, a clear sticky film. And what you have to do is stick that over the top of this. So then you can then transfer it onto what you're sticking it to. Right, so I've got to get this on there without too many bubbles in it. Okay, first of all, cut it so it's the right size. Which that is. Okay. And what I'm going to do is peel off one end and stick it on. Okay, so what you need now is you need these letters to stick to the uh, transfer paper. Got a little roller here. This is actually an ink roller, uh, but you can buy proper rollers for this. Okay, just trying to make sure all of the letters are stuck to the transfer paper. That should do it. So now it's stuck to the bench. Right, let's stick this on what we intended to go on to. Right, I'll have to do this bit upside down. Right. So then you slowly peel off this back in. Okay, pulling it back on itself and hopefully all the letters stick to the transfer. Okay, that worked. Now you only get one shot of this really, so let's try and get it in the right place. Uh, well, it's too late now. And again, roll it out. Oh, it's showing up all of the little bits of slate. And then in theory, we should be able to peel this off. Haha, <laughs> stuck it on wonky. But, you get the idea. Right, so that's about it. So the initial question was, can I cut this reflective vinyl using the diode laser? Uh, in this case, I was using the Sculpfun S9. And the answer is, yes, you can. Okay, so you can cut out layers and shapes whatever you want. Uh, now this obviously 
would be much better if you stuck it on straight. I stuck it on wonky. Uh, but just to prove the point that you can use this. Now, again, be very careful. This is reflective. The laser is a light, so it does reflect quite a bit of the light. So make sure you've got a proper pair of laser glasses. Not sunglasses, laser glasses. Okay, right, that'll do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, now, why would I want to cut it on my laser diode, okay? Okay, and it's completely the wrong way. I need to do it the other way. Uh, well, first of all, why would you want to do that? Why won't you use something else? No, that bit's a bit rubbish. I'll do that all again. Mm-hmm.